Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler. My name is DJ and today we're going to be taking a look at some items so hopefully once again we'll find their way on your layout because I told you so so you better do it. We're going to talk about something brand new that just came in today and this is actually a really neat thing. This is the Atlas HO Single System Bridge. I really like this one here. This has a multiple different single lights that are up there and this is kind of their brand new single system that they have created. We took a look at them in the previous show. They have singles, they have doubles. This is the arch over bridge i really like these things and they look really cool on your layout now the retail value all these singles are 129.95 but we're selling it here at yankee dabbler for 99 dollars 99 so it's a really neat accessory to get on your layout i always love extra lights and i think this is definitely gonna be a winner but you know what engineer hall i'm a little tired about talking about trains we always talk about trains so let's talk about something different today okay let's change it up so you want to talk about today let's talk about uh I don't know, boats I like boats. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of boat? Gondola. Gondola? Like gondola? Yeah. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Because we have here from Scale Trains these gondola kits. And check out these guys here. Now, these are really cool looking kits because they are very economical. I have a bunch of different numbers. And if you're looking for a fun weekend project, this could be something for you to choose from. I have a couple different row names here that for your consideration. So check out these gondolas. I guess they're gondolas if we keep the wheels off. I got the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. I got the Burlington. I have here the D, M, and E. The Baltimore and Ohio, Chessie, and the Milwaukee Road. Now, the neat thing about these gondolas is that the price, they retail for $23.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $18.99. So anytime you get an HO car from a reputable company like Scale Trains, under 20 bucks, that's a win in my book. So come to Yankee Dabbler, get one, two, or 600 of these, and you'll have a nice gondola train on your layout today. You tricked me with the, the gondola thing, okay? But we're not doing that. We're going to talk about something different. I'm sick about talking about trains. What, let's talk about something like like beverages. What do you like to drink? I like beer. There you are. Let's talk about beer. We're going to have a beer show now. How do you like to drink it? Like in a glass or in a uh, in a bottle? I like in a tank. A tank? You mean like a tank car? Exactly. <sighs> Check out another train. This one's from Line Out, and this is actually a really cool unibody tank car that is decorated to look like a Budweiser can. And the really neat thing about this car here, as a matter of fact, it has a little tab on the side of it. I've been trying to open this for a while. Can't get anything out of it. I don't know, maybe you can get something out of this? Let me take a look at it. All right. I mean, I've been trying for about... What the... <sighs> Give me that. I, I don't know how you did that. But anyway, the really neat thing about this car is it is a scale car. It's really nicely detailed. And we took a look at some reefers that Budweiser made for Lionel. So this would be a nice complimentary piece if you're looking for a little Budweiser train. I think this is definitely a neat thing for you to get. Now, the retail value of this car is $84.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $74.99. Those alcohol cars sometimes go for collectible value uh, further on down the line. So if you want to add one to your collection or if you're just a fan of beverages come get this Budweiser tank car today nothing nothing let me try it again let me get some more let me get some more hey <laughs> I've done this to me twice engineer hall so we're gonna talk about trucks I'm giving the topic okay so uh do you like trucks I love trucks. Yeah, we have a bunch of these kits at Yankee Devler, actually. What's your favorite part about the truck? Oh, uh, the cab. I love the cab. Cabs are cool. How about those engines? They got some cool engines in here. Yeah. What type of fuel do you think this thing gets? Uh, diesel. Diesel. Take diesel. So you're telling me this is a diesel engine. Oh, man. You did it again. These are these Alco S4s from Atlas, and I got the Pennsylvania Railroad there. We got a very striking Boston Maine. I love that Miniman logo on the cab there. We have this Santa Fe, the Baltimore and Ohio. My personal favorite, I love the Southern Pacific, that tiger striping, that looks really cool. We got the Grand Trunk and finally CP Rail. Now these are some early style diesel locomotives that Atlas has come out with. And if you notice, these are just really colorful, like detailed, and they're really nicely put together. If we take a look at this Pennsylvania Railroad one, the neat thing about this is it has a die cast metal um, frame here and it has a lot of weight to it so no need about these things falling off your track 
I bet you they pull a lot of weight too. I love the detailing. Take a look at this Pennsylvania with all the, the yellow uh, grab irons and footrests and everything like that. I really love the way that these engines look. And if you are an Alco fan, you like some early diesel locomotives, I think these engines are going to sound really good. So I really like that Southern Pacific Tiger Striper. So let's take a look at it. All aboard. So I got that Southern Pacific Tiger Striper on the track. It's great! Let's just run it. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's take a listen to the bell. So listen to the horn. And away we go. That's a neat sound of diesel locomotive. Truthfully, I think you need one or maybe seven of them on your layout. Why well, seven? I think that was really neat, and definitely if you can afford to have all seven of them on your railroad, I think you should definitely get them. Now, I do have a couple of different road numbers for each one, though. If you don't want to get all seven, but you want to get maybe a couple of Southern Pacifics or Pennsylvanias, we have that covered. Now, these engines go for $289.95, but we're going to sell them here at Yankee Doubler for $209.99. Cool deal to get on a really neat look at diesel locomotive. I really like that bell. I think it's a neat sounding bell. So I think you definitely need one, two, seven, fourteen, eighty-five. You need them on your era to come get them now. You see that lotto numbers? What? You know lotto numbers? No, but if you get the lottery numbers, then you can buy them all. Oh, okay. All right, Engineer Hall, you have tricked me three times. We're not put it down. We're not talking about trains anymore. Okay. Okay. Talk about something different. Let's talk about food. We talked about beverages. No, I don't want the tank car. You sure? I Yes. It was delicious. If apparently for you. Yeah. Let's talk about food. Okay. Food's good. We're going to be a, a food show now. Okay. Because there's not 800 of those already. All right. So what's your favorite place, Steve? I'll, I'll, I'll start. Chick-fil-A, I think, is a really good place. I like a nice steak place. Steak is good. Steak is good. What type of steaks do you like? You no, know I heard Omaha steaks is pretty good. Omaha steaks. See, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, very cool. Is there any specific places that uh, you like to get Omaha steaks? Uh, I heard like a, a Big Boy or something. Big Boy restaurant? Okay, Big Boy is a restaurant. They do have Omaha steaks. That's... Oh, you're not doing this to me again, are you? Ha! Got he! We have here... The big boy. We have, of course, from Broadway Limited, the 4014 and N scale. And then this special one over here is the 4023. And this is the one that is in Omaha. This is actually a limited edition run. This is the one that's on display in Omaha, Nebraska. So if this is uh, one an engine that you have seen before, that is possibly an engine that you would like to go with. And, of course, everyone knows the story of the 4014. And this is just a spectacular-looking engine. The neat thing about this is it does have smoke. And one um, note that I want to make Wait about... Wait a minute. This got smoke at Inska? 
It does. Wow. I know. And one thing I want to note right from Broadway Limited is, as a matter of fact, it's a little strange, but these engines actually don't take Broadway Limited smoke fluid, but you have to use the, and I want to get make sure I get this right, the Markland smoke fluid. I guess it's a little bit thinner, so therefore the Markland smoke fluid works better in these locomotives, so they ask you not to use Broadway Limited smoke. I'm just relaying the information for Broadway Limited. But these are really great looking uh, steam locomotives here. I have a couple of different numbers here. And the neat thing about the 4014 is, as you can see, it is the oil tender as opposed to the coal tender and maybe some of the other versions. So let's fire up the big boy. So we got that 4014 on the track. So let's see what it looks like. First, let's take a listen to the bell. Low whistle. Alright, so that sounds very accurate to the real big boy. So let's fire this puppy up all aboard. Actually, a neat thing is if you take a look inside the cab, I'll bring it towards the engine there, huh? You can see that the cab is actually illuminated for a little bit, and then when the engine starts to go, it stops, or it turns off rather, and now I'll stop it again, and the cab light is on. That is a really cool looking engine. It sounds really cool too. And if you're an end scaler, and if you want a big boy, you're going to the head of the class with this. You know, it's only a few years ago that no one was making the big boy in any scale. And now it seems like we are inundated with them. And I think that's an awesome thing. So if you're an end scaler and you want a big boy, get this engine for Broadway Limited. All right, so the retail value of that locomotive is $599.99, but we're selling it again here for Yankee Dabbler for $469.99. If you're an end scaler and you want the last of the giants from the Union Pacific, you need to get the 4014 or one of its sister engines pulling trains today. Don't hesitate. Okay, Engineer Hall, I understand you like trains. We've been talking about trains for like 70 shows now, okay? We got to talk about something different because people have other interests. So what are you going to talk about today? You know what? Let's talk about something you cannot turn to trains. Okay. Communication. Mm -hmm. Okay. And one of the neat things uh, about communications before telephones, we actually had a system of dots and dashes that we called Morse code. You know about that? Oh, yeah. I know about that. Really? Do you know how to write anything in Morse code? Oh, I can show you. All right. Let's see a little message that we got. You got to put on the screen? Uh, Here you go. Okay. Dash. Dash, 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 dash. Nine dashes. Dash nine. Oh, jeez. Got him. Let's go at it. From scale trains, we have these dash nine locomotives here. And these are really neat looking diesel engines here. I got the demonstrator version, as you saw there, the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. I got the Norfolk Southern. You ever drive one of those, Engineer Hall? I'm sorry, operate one of those? Never heard of them. Oh, okay. No, never heard of them. Southern Pacific, I like that look there. And of course, for our Canadian national fans, there we got that one. And we have a Chicago Northwestern Operation Lifesaver one there. And then on my tracks there, because I wore the Union Pacific shirt today, we got the Union Pacific. Now, these are really neat, these locomotives here. If you like the Dash 9, the Scale Trains does an awesome job. Let's take a look at this Burlington Northern Santa Fe that we have here. I just love all the intricate detailing that they put in there. Take a look at all those warning labels that we have there. We got different chains. We got different uh, wires and hoses and everything that you would want. If you want some scale awesomeness, come to Scale Trains right there, okay? Mm -hmm. But this is just really neat looking. I love little... Just the detailing on these engines, they look great. 
Oh, I like the front of that too. That's even awesome. No, oh, it's not dirty inside. Yeah, uh, it's not dirty inside. Is, not is, dirty is inside. your cab all dirty? Yeah, sometimes. With big boy uh, rappers from Chick Fil A and whatnot. On hot steak shit. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at that Union Pacific on the rail. So all aboard. So we got our Union Pacific on the rails here. Let's take a look at this UP Dash Nine. Let's take a listen to the bell. Let's take a listen to the helm. I like that one. Cool. Let's go. I like the ditch lights that I have there. Got the illuminated marker, uh, the number boards there. These look cool. That Dash 9 sounds fantastic, and I think it definitely deserves to be on your layout. Now, these Dash 9s retail for $361.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $289.99. I think that's a great diesel locomotive, so I think you definitely need one, two, or once again, all of them. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Unlimited power. There's not a train I can't pull. <laughs> All aboard, Engineer Hall. All right, let's go. Recap everything that we talked about. Well, I really don't want to talk about them, but Engineer Hall did, so here they are. We had here from Lino this O scale Budweiser tank car, and that is a really cool looking car. Beer is sold separately. We have here from Scale Trains these Dash 9s, and they sound good, they look good, and they need to be on your layout soon. We had from Atlas these S4 diesel locomotives, and again, another diesel locomotive that sound great, and they look awesome too. We had this Signal system from Atlas, and that is a really cool looking uh, the piece there. I think you definitely need that. And in an end scale land, we had the big boys. And remember, we had this special one here, this limited edition 4023 that is found in Omaha, Nebraska. That could be on your layout real soon. Now, of course, if you're looking for something totally different, that's all right, because our website, yankeedabbler.com, has everything that you need to put on your railroad and hopefully make it nice and happy this time of year. I know the winter sometimes gets a little bit uh, long the days aren't as long so hopefully you're inside playing with your trains and having a good time just like we are all right if you're not already subscribed to engineer hall's channel make sure you click that button and get caught up on all the latest and greatest things that we have happening we got a lot of great videos planned for this year as i said several times so make sure you stay tuned so you get updated on all that information we're going to conclude this week's Railfan video with something a little bit different. Now, usually I show you some real trains I've seen in uh, real life, but one of the things I wanted to do that I was super excited about was one of my favorite trains, actually, finally, after over three decades of me complaining and begging and bothering companies to come out with a train, they finally came out with it. You know what it is, Engineer Hall? Uh, the squeaky wheel gets the oil. What? Oh, so is that what it was? I was the squeaky wheel? 
Go. Possibly. Well, I finally broke them down. Hopefully, I'll take credit for it. So, as many of us know, the Strasbourg Railroad is one of my favorite places to go to. And my very first engine, the engine that got me responsible for loving trains, was their 060 number 31. Now, of course, that engine has a run in some time, but Lionel finally, finally, finally came out with a model of that locomotive. I've been super excited to get it. That number, that engine has meant so much to me. As a matter of fact, every baseball team I've ever played on... I've always been number 31. So I was very excited, and I'm sure I, probably a lot of you get that same feeling when you finally get that engine group that, that you love so much. Something you want in model form, I think, is awesome. So check out my Strasburg number 31 going around my railroad. It's not perfect, but it's the best I got. So enjoy it. Well, I'm going to spend this week and think about show ideas that you, Engineer Hall, cannot turn into trains like uh i don't know garbage how can you make that into uh, trash train csx go ahead okay uh skiing how about that a uh, real grand ski train yeah keep going mm -hmm. i think you're so clever huh try me yeah yeah okay how about something uh, totally different uh i know gravel how do you turn gravel into trains stone trains what are you talking about run those all right you know what i'll just think of the most random thing uh those Collars with the spikes that pit bulls wear. Ah, uh, golden spike. Thank <laughs> you. 